الحمدللہ وکفا و سلام على عباده الذین اصطفا اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم وأيوب إذ نادى ربه أني مسني الضر وأنت أرحم الراحمين فاستجبنا له فكشفنا ما به من ضر وآتيناه أهله ومثلهم معهم رحمة من عندنا وذكرى للعابدين صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين سورة أنبياء Last night we read about his Sayyidina Suleiman ala Nabina alayhi salatu wa salam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala subjugated the air and jinnat for him and in the explanation in the ma'alif Hazrat Mufti Taqi Usmani sahab shaykh wa salam has written that there is no concrete evidence to support or to refute any such possibilities so there's people who say that Nauzubillah had Suleiman was given some technique with which or some technology with which he was able to control these things and this is only the people's thoughts the Quran does not say anything like that the Quran just says that Allah had given it under his control and Anbiya, different Anbiya have different miracles so there is no need to Nauzubillah for some strange reason find logical uh, you know explanations for the miracles of Anbiya people who want to uh, conform so much to today, today's understanding in today's science that they are not ready to believe anything that science does not explain Islam is not dependent on those people Islam is not dependent on science whatever the Quran says if it makes sense to us or not, if it can be proven by science or not, there is no need to worry about that. Today we are going to read about her tonight, Hadd Ayyub alayhi salatu salam. Wa Ayyub, remember Ayyub. And in his biblical name is Job. Ibnada Rabba, when he called to his Lord, saying, Anni masani al-dhur, here I am afflicted by pain. Wa anta arhamur rahimin. And you are the most merciful of all those who are merciful. So had Ayyub alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given a very plentiful, beautiful life. He had many children and a lot of wealth. And for 70 years he enjoyed that. And he, after 70 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put him into such a situation that everything was taken away from him. His children also left him or died. And he, his very own body was afflicted with a strange kind of sickness some sort of something similar to leprosy where his body started to shed off and it happened to such an extent that only his tongue and his heart remained functional all his other parts of the body they it was he was basically bones and in some narrations it is mentioned that his children uh, because of this state they evicted him from the town from the dwellings of people and put him close to a place where they would basically a landfill where they would put their garbage and stuff outside the city and in that state he kept on giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he was born in that state he said Ya Allah I give thanks to you for 70 years you gave me so much and the love of that had started to enter into a part of my heart so I thank you that you took all of it away from me so that I can focus on your ibadah and your worship and this is what he did that in his days of affliction and sickness and solitude he was he f became even more focused on the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so last night we talked about her Suleiman alayhi salam whom Allah had given a lot like Allah did not give to anyone a kingdom that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not give to anyone before or after him and still he would constantly remind himself and Worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and say that Ya Allah, this is a test from you. You have given this to me as a test. Do I become somebody who is thankful or do I become somebody who is a kafir and thankless? And as a you alayhi salam, his story is kind of the stark opposite that Allah took everything from him. And so much so that his children, his family, his very own body was almost taken away from him. Only his wife 
which was the daughter or the granddaughter of Hadi Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, she would come and uh, she would, after all the wealth was taken away from them, she would work hard to earn a livelihood for himself, uh, for him and herself. And she would bring some food to him and take care of him. And she would say to Hazrat Ayyub that you should make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Ya Allah take this affliction, take this sickness away. And he would say the same thing that for 70 years my Allah gave me so much, I don't feel like I should start or show any impatience when Allah is testing me through this uh, disease. But there was a point, it, this continued for seven years and then there came a point where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself uh, somehow told him the detail of which is not given and he made this dua anni masani al-dhur here i am afflicted by pain and uh, disease has struck me i have been completely touched by disease this dua was in no way that this does not mean that in any way ayyub alayhi salam had lost patience he was doing this under the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah had told him to make this dua and he was making this dua. Anni masani al-dhur wa anta arhamur rahimin and you are the most merciful of the, you are the most merciful of those who show mercy. So again, even in this, there is no, not even a tiniest hint of complaint that Ya Allah, what is happening to me or why is this happening to me or Ya Allah, why did you take all of this away from me? These stories of Anbiya, they are not just stories, they are instructions for us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us strength and patience. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always protect us. We should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for afiyat. We should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for security and peace and abundance. But if an affliction is given to us, a test is given to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should never become thankless to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should never become thankless. The two things that he had remaining, his heart and his tongue, he used to keep those busy in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and giving thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَاسْتَجَبْنَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, we answered his prayer. فَكَشَفْنَا مَا بِهِ مِنْ ضُرْ And removed whatever pain he had. So after seven years and some months passed, when the duration was complete in the knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him, commanded him to strike the ground with his heel and there erupted a, a fountain from which he uh, washed himself and I, if I remember correctly, I drank from it and his body became whole and healthy again and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a dress for him from Jannah. He wore it and then came out, came away from that place of garbage and sat on the side. And then when his wife came, she did not find him there and she started crying thinking that Ayyub alayhi salam has finally passed away. And she looked for him here and there and then she saw this a healthy man and she asked this healthy man that oh, oh, uh, oh slave of Allah have you seen Ayyub alayhi salam uh, was he eaten by that, that sick person who used to be here has he been eaten by um, the animals or something and had Ayyub said that I am Ayyub and she still did not believe and said why are you joking with me why are you kidding with me I am looking for my husband so he said no I am Ayyub look closer and then she finally recognizes Ayyub alayhi salam and they Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reverted back everything. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, wa aatainahu ahlahu wa mithlahum ma'ahum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to him his children back. Either those same children came back or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave him new children. Wa mithlahum ma'ahum and not only those but similar more, extra. So double that. Rahmatam min indina. All of this is a Mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa dhikra lil abideen and instruction and a lesson, lesson for those who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbana taqabbal minna inna ganta samiyun alim wa tab'alayna inna ganta tawab al-rahim. Allahumma ja'alna min ahli al-Qur'an al-lazina hum ahluka wa khasatuk wa sallallahu ta'ala ala khayri khalqih Sayyidina wa maulana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een. Amin bi rahmatika ya arhamar rahimeen.